Okay, hello everyone and welcome to this workshop. We're going to talk about the tuition waiver program for BC former youth in care and youth in care and also go over a couple of other grants and bursaries available to uh, BC former youth and youth in care. Uh, my name is Allison Conway and I'm the financial aid officer for Coast Mountain College and my office is located on the beautiful Simshian territory in Terrace, BC. Uh, it's a uh, beautiful land and uh, the weather this year we just don't know what to expect. We had sunshine today. It's only 1 p.m. here Pacific Standard Time and today we have already had sunshine, rain, more sun, rain, sunshine, so uh, just enjoying enjoying the freshness of everything and uh, fall is coming way too soon here. But thank you, uh, beautiful Simshan territory. I'm really happy that I can uh, live and work, work here. Thank you. So uh, let's see, what are we doing today? We're gonna talk about three things. So first, uh, first we are, I don't, I don't have my notes there. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the tuition waiver program for former youth in care. So I'm going to start sharing my screen and then we'll go over to the uh, student aid BC site. So you can do the www or you can just put in studentaidbc.ca. Uh, we went over this um, this web page in my Canadian student loan workshop on Monday so we won't we won't do that again um, but basically well let's do this first uh, so we're going to talk about three three things for former youth and care and we can find all of the applications in the form library on student aid BC so we're just going to go right there so you go into the form library and these are all sorts of forms at the top here that students might need if they have a, a student loan through Student Aid BC. And if we just scroll down to the uh, gra grant and bursary forms, we're going to talk about the Provincial Tuition Waiver Program. And we're going to also talk about the Youth Educational Assistance Fund for former youth in care. And um, there's another one too. I thought the application was on here, but I guess it's not. So we'll go there after and I'll, I will post the link. <clears throat> also, um, please, if you haven't muted your microphone, if you could do so now, uh, we don't want, um, if you have any loud noises going on in your home, we, <laughs> or bodily functions as we saw, uh, as we heard, as we heard in the, the last session earlier today. Um, so please mute yourself. So let's click on the provincial tuition waiver program. <clears throat> form. So uh, this program waives the tuition and fees for full-time and part-time BC post-secondary student, students uh, who are former youth in care between the ages of 19 up until their 27th birthday. So this uh, basically you can fill out this form and um, if you're approved for this program then the amounts, the cost for your tuition to get your uh, certificate, diploma, undergrad degree, so f up to four years, um, you won't have to pay for your tuition. We will bill that directly to the Ministry of Advanced Education. So um, if you, let's see, let's talk about eligibility. So you have to be a resident of BC and that's determined by living in BC, British Columbia for 12 months continuously. And um, just uh, some other other eligibility here. Uh, this is the main one. You were formerly in any BC ministry, so MCFD. Um, if you were in the care of the ministry, um, had a youth agreement, those kinds of things. 
Uh, so basically this first page of the application is the um, the deets, the details, and uh, then we have the application instructions. So there's a few sections on this form. Uh, the student completes sections one and three, I complete section two, and then I send it to student ABC, and they confirm if you're eligible for the program. If uh, if you are or if you aren't, then they will send you and Coast Mountain College a letter. And um, if you are approved, then we will just bill, bill the ministry for your tuition. Um, or if you've already paid for it, then we will reimburse you. So uh, processing takes appro approximately two weeks, but can take up to six. So on the form here, and this is a fillable PDF form as well, so you can either print the form and fill it out by hand and then submit it to Coast Mountain College so that it's forwarded to me, or you can fill it out um, on the computer. So if you do fill it out on the computer, this is a very important step, you would want to save this form to your desktop first because if you don't, it's not going to save any of the information that you write in. So what, what do you do? You open the form, and then you'd go over to, to save it, and then you'd open it from, uh, from your save file, type in your info, press save, and then all of the information that you've typed should be saved in that form. If you don't, and you just open the application right, right from the Student ABC site, and then start typing in it, when you save it, it's not going to save that information. And uh, I don't think it will even print that information either. So definitely save to your desktop. And that way you can keep a copy too. So um, section one, so the student fills out section one. Uh, social insurance number, your name, all of your information, your student number, that's your Coast Mountain College student number and your personal education number. If you don't know that, you can leave it blank because uh, we will have that information. <clears throat> so, section two, study information. This gets completed by me. So I will uh, put Coast Mountain College, I'll confirm the date that your, that your program starts, and the name the name of the program, and then the tuition and, and all that good stuff. So that's my job. And then uh, section three, that's the student's job. So I understand that Coast Mountain College will disclose all, all this good stuff. Basically, um, disclose that we, we will disclose your education information to to uh, the province and to MCFD, et cetera. So it's basically like an information. You can send that we can release your student information to the persons, to the organization that will be providing the funding for you. And then sign, print. So uh, once that's done, um, then, so once we have this form filled out, then we would be on this stage here. I submit, I submit this um, application to the tuition waiver email, and then they will validate uh, whether or not you qualify. Like they'll check to see if you were a youth in care, and um, and just verify that you're eligible. So uh, you only have to do this application once, so you don't have to do this application every semester or um, every year, it's just done once. And you can access it from um, 19 until your 27th birthday. So it's basically for students ages 19 to 26. Once you turn 27, you are not eligible for this program. That being said, however, lots of post-secondary institutions have uh, private funds that they use uh, for what's called a, uh, let's see, post-care tuition waiver program. That's, that's what some institutions have, have called it. Um, and they will, they'll continue to fund you for your tuition after your 27th birthday. 
So uh, lots of post-secondary institutions have that, and Coast Mountain College, uh, we will likely have that in the future. Um, it's just something, uh, something that might be in the plan in the future, but currently that's not available. Are there any questions about this provincial tuition waiver program? All righty, so let's, let's move on then. More exciting things. Uh, well, this is really exciting, but then the next thing is also very exciting. Um, so I'm gonna go back to Student Aid BC, back to that form library, see where we access the tuition waiver program application. And we're gonna talk about the Youth Educational Assistance Fund for Former Youth in Care. So if you've qualified for the Provincial Waiver Program, the Provincial Tuition Waiver Program, you will likely qualify for this as well. So what we do usually is um, at Coast Mountain College, when a student applies for the Tuition Waiver Program, we send the form off, and then uh, when we're notified that it's successful, then I will send the student information about the Youth Educational Assistance Fund for Former Youth in Care, and also that uh, the next thing we're going to be talking about. There's another bursary. So let's talk about this one. So I'm going to click here. Let's go to the app application. So, uh, am I eligible? So you must be a former youth in continuing custody or a former youth in care. Um, and you have to be between 19 and 24 years old for this one. So, uh, like the provincial waiver program we just talked about, it, it's uh, 19 to 26, but this fund here is 19 to 24. Uh, and this will cover expenses related to your education for up to four years and check this out up to fifty five hundred dollars per program year and you can receive that a maximum of four times so that's that's a lot of cash that's really good um, so what do you do with this? Well, let's look at the application. Uh, this is not a fillable PDF, so you will have to print this off and then fill it in uh, with ink. And it says here, all questions must be answered in ink. So uh, your surname, so that's your last name, and uh, your personal information, where do you live, all those things. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have a permanent disability, um, then you can be considered full-time at 40%. And I think this, I think you have to be full-time to be eligible for this, so let's just look. Okay, yeah, so you have to be a full-time student or a student with a permanent disability studying at a 40% course load. So full-time is 60 to 100% of a full-time course load. <clears throat> Students in business uh, or university credit, for example, they could be considered full-time at three to five courses. But if you have a permanent disability and you have completed the permanent, uh, sorry, student with permanent disabilities paperwork um, for the purposes of Student Aid BC, which is done by filling out an Appendix 8 form, also available in the form library, um, then if that's approved, then uh, you will get a permanent disability designation for the purpose of Student Aid BC, and you can be considered full-time at only 40% of a full-time course load. So that, uh, so 40% in the business or university credit program, that would be two courses. Um, okay, so if you have that documentation, then you would then you would click yes, and we would likely have to include a copy of your Appendix 8 form that you've submitted or um, some paperwork to say that you've been approved for the persons with disability status. So um, application requirements, application form, so make sure you have page two and three. And then uh, you can submit a, you can include an enrollment confirmation letter, or if you've already applied for a full-time student loan, or, well, yeah, a full-time student loan, or a part-time if you're 
if you have that PWD designation, could be either or, but you'd put your loan number there. If you have to do a confirmation of enrollment letter, you can ask for that um, from my office, um, or likely when it, like, you fill out your part, this form comes to me, I'll see that you need one, and then I'll just make one for you and include it with this um, application package when I send it off. And then confirmation of eligibility, are you a first-time applicant? So have you applied for this before, yes or no? Um, okay, and then section three, uh, declaration, all, the, all those things. So you want to have a have a look and sign off on that if you're in agreement. And then, um, oh yeah, I guess you don't have. Well, you don't have to send this form to me to complete, but everyone everyone does. It's the best way because. Uh, also, so you want to send it to me first because I'm going to give you that confirmation of enrollment letter. And um, this conf confirmation of eligibility, uh, if you've applied for the tuition waiver program and you're, you're accepted, I just include that acceptance letter with this documentation. So that uh, basically signifies that um, the ministry has already approved you. So they've already looked at your information here. Uh, if you want to send it in yourself, then um, you know you can just ask for a confirmation of enrollment letter. You or you can put in your student aid load number um, or application number, and then uh, for confirmation of eligibility, you can ask for something from MCFD to to confirm um, that you are a former youth in care who meets one of the legal eligibility criteria. Um, and so that's it, $5,500 per program year if you are a former youth in care. Um, okay, so we did that. Now we want to talk about the Youth Futures Education Fund. And I believe that is on our website. I will find it and I will post that link. So I'm just on coastmountaincollege.ca. I want to go to student services, financial aid, and I'm just going to click right there because for some reason I can't get get any 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 further below. I think my screen I've got the text too large. Um, so you might have seen seen this page before in my student loan workshop. Uh, this, yeah, my student loan workshop on Monday. So this is uh, basically all the links that you see here. Are on are on this page. So we want to go down to federal and provincial assistance, and we've got some other things here. Youth Educational Assistance Fund for former youth in care. That's not it. Oh, looks like I need to update our website. Uh, that's okay. I am just going to stop sharing my screen for a second. Okay, and now I'm just going to go quickly open that file, and uh, I will make sure that the link to this form is posted under our student orientation sessions, under those important documents, um, so that you can access this, um, or you can send me an email. So let's see, the Youth Futures Education Fund. We'll look at the application. Okay, so going back to share my screen. See, I'm getting better at this. Learning. So I'm going to go to page two because that's where all of the, the information is. So uh, the Youth Futures Education Fund uh, will help uh, former youth in care. So if you've been approved for the tuition waiver program, you can access this. And it's for up to $500 per program year, and you can use it for anything school-related, um, supplies, books, computer purchase, um, even you know your living expenses while you're in school. <clears throat> uh, it's first come, first serve. So every um, 
Well, we we get the funds from the Vancouver Foundation, and uh, we get a certain amount of funds every year, and our tuition waiver program students are eligible to apply for up to $500 once a year, and it's as fun, um, it's dependent on the availability of funds, but there's always enough funds. There have al there has always been enough funds in the past, so we haven't run into that. Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good with us. So to be eligible for this, you need to be um, you need to have been approved for the tuition waiver program. You can be part time or full time. You have to demonstrate financial need, and you have to attend class on a regular basis and progress satisfactory. So um, you know attend class and hopefully pa pa be uh, be in good academic standing. Also, we uh, exceptional circumstances may be considered. Usually, our students apply for this um, before classes even start, though. So when we uh, when we submit that tuition waiver application, I'll give students this form to complete too, and then we'll just process it for the first week of school. So it's a little early to make sure you're that you're attending class and whatnot. But if you apply for it after, we will. Check in on that. Um, okay, so complete the application in full and attach any supporting documentation and then uh, submit it to Coast Mountain College and it comes to me and then we will let you know of the decision. So this is the form here. Uh, personal information, all that stuff, and then describe your financial need and how this grant will help you achieve your educational goals. So you could write something like, um, I'm going to use this money to pay for my books for school. Um, if you have any relevant documentation, like say you want to buy a computer and you want to submit a receipt for that, um, that is always, always a good thing. You would check off this box here. Okay, and then I authorize Coast Mountain College to release my information to the Vancouver Foundation and donors for the purpose of financial reporting. Sign, date, and then I sign, I date, and then our uh, Director of Student Services or our Registrar will sign and date and then we'll process this application. So that's about it, that's the lay of the land. Um, We've covered the tuition waiver program that can cover uh, your, your tuition if you're a former youth in care. And you can, we covered the uh, youth, what, what was that called again? What was that? We covered the Youth Educational Assistance Fund for former youth in care for up to $5,500 a program year. And we have covered the, so many things, right? We've covered the Youth Futures Education Fund for up to $500 per program year. And this one here, this is not a fillable PDF, so you have to print it and write on it with ink. Are there any questions? Put share in my screen here. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm just there looking at the... Sorry, it's for it. There was a question about eligibility if they were an international student. Okay, so if you're an international student, then you wouldn't be eligible because you have to be a resident of BC, which means you have to have lived in BC for the last 12 months, and you also have to be a former youth in care. So that means like, um, for example, if the, um, I think, if you're if you're if you've been in foster care or if the Ministry of Children and Family Development has um, taken over guardianship of you uh, during the time that you were a minor, you know, now you're 19, you know, you're legal, you're an adult, but um, you're still considered like a former youth in care. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. It's uh, it's 1.25, we've got five minutes left, so um, we will cut this short if there's no other, no other questions. Uh, 
You're welcome, Palak. Uh, thank you all so much. I believe this is the last student orientation session, so let's just, hey, congratulations, everyone. You made it. And uh, good luck. I hope that you get that tuition credit for $500. Awesome. All right, everyone, I'm signing off. Take care and have a great weekend.